Good morning. I'm going to put on an apron today because I'm wearing a white shirt. I've already spilled a little bit of something on it. Probably at this point, it doesn't matter if I wear an apron because I've already got my shirt dirty. But there's nothing like coming in with a apron after the fact. Why not? Whatever. Good morning. Hi, Daffy. Are you here to say good morning to Mama? He hears me say good morning. He comes running. Good morning, Dawn. Hi, buddy. Hi. Good morning. Hey, Bonnie Clap. Hey, Carrie. Oh, the dog just burped really loud. Bleh. Hey, Mallory. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Becky. Hey, Shirley. Good morning, my friends. Hey, Bonnie. I am going to give Bassie some banana. Here I am. Good morning, Trace. Um, What's going on over here? Oh, that's something. I thought that was my hair sticking out, but it's the, it was never mind. It was um, hello, Ellen. T. Ellen, is it Tellen? What's that sound? What on earth was that sound? I don't know what that was. It was a really weird sound coming from down the hall. It's Brazilian, Shirley. Brazilian. Brazil coqueiro. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's C-O-Q-U-I-E-R-O. Coqueiro. Coqueiro. You got to do it like that, though. That's how a girl from Maine does it. No, Bonnie. Because people want me to make squaffy. That's why they send me coffee. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Jackie. All right, my friends, I'm going to make fluffy white banana pancakes. Do you know that I don't, I don't think I've ever made these before from Trim Healthy Table. Maybe I have and don't remember, but honestly, I don't think I, <laughs> I've ever made them. No, this one, nope, not that one. I mean, that sounds good. Pretzels and brown sugar. Notes of pretzels. This one has notes of black cherry, milk chocolate, mission fig, and plum. And this bag was just was just ground nine days ago, eight days ago. How crazy is that? That's fresh coffee. This fresh. All right. Let's make banana pancakes. Fluffy white banana pancakes from Trim Healthy Table, page 339. I'm going to make a half a batch because there's four servings and I do not need four servings of pancakes. As a matter of fact, I only need one, but I can't divide two thirds of a cup into fours. So I'm... Bonnie said, oh my goodness, Facebook just told me my comment might go against their standards. They drink squaffy too. <laughs> Even the Zuckerberg drinks the squaffy. Didn't you know it's all the rage in Silicon Valley? Is that where he is? I don't know. It's all the rage all across the internet, Bonnie. Squaffy. It's the new black coffee. You better get on board, woman. You better get on board. You're going to miss the squaffy train. <laughs> yeah, you can't say things like shut your face. You get banned. It's not socially acceptable. All right. Anyway, I can't divide this into fours. The math is too complicated. So I'm going to go ahead and do half a batch because I can do halves. Bonnie DeBoer. You need to jump on the car. Wait, that's not even the right half. It was supposed to be half of a two thirds and I did half of one quart. Wait, what? It's supposed to be one third. Well, this is going well so far. This is going superior. That's not what I meant to say. Also, I don't have any cottage cheese and that's one of the ingredients. So. Enjoy your crappy gas station burrito, Nikki. If you're new to my page, and you don't know why Nikki said she's having a crappy gas station burrito. It's because it's one of my recipes, crappy gas station burritos. Not because she's actually eating a crappy gas station burrito. She's eating a crappy gas station burrito, not a crappy gas station burrito. There's importance in the emphasis. 
third of a cup. Uh, I also need some bacon blend. Baking blend for those of you who use phonics. For us here in Maine, it's bacon blend. Only without the uh on it. We don't say blend because we're in Maine. We say bacon, though. We shorten everything up here. It's one banana. I have to say it like that because that's how Pearl says it. Pearl doesn't have bananas. She has bananas. Banana. Bassie, you want some banana? Don't break a hip running out here. You want some banana? He speaks English. Nope, no Harry Potter jokes necessary. I won't understand them or care to hear them. I don't like me any Harry Pooper. I don't like it. It's not a jam. But bananas are the Bassmasters jam. Do you want to show everybody your dancing this morning? Can you dance? No, get down from me, boy. Can you dance? Dance. No, don't jump. Dance. Come on. Still have to jump in. He's such a good dancer until I get on video. No jump. Back up. Back up. Back up. Dance. Sebastian. Dance. Really? Dance. Can you sit? Can you sit? Can you high five? Uh-huh. 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 All right, take your banana and Blech. I don't like bananas that much. I like banana flavor. I'm not a big fan of eating a banana. So I just held that in my mouth while I got high fives from the dog and what? I don't like it. I really don't care for fresh banana. I have to gag them down, and especially once they get brown. Blech. Has anybody ever watched Paul Blart? I think I've talked about this before when he goes into the warehouse and in Paul Blart too, he, in Paul Blart too, when he goes into the warehouse and pretends to be the something, I don't even remember what he pretends to be, but the guy is eating that disgustingly seeping black banana. I can't get through that scene. All right. Half. Okay. This calls for three quarters of a cup of cottage cheese and a half cup of plain Greek yogurt. I don't have cottage cheese. So it calls for one and a quarter cups total of the two. So I'm going to go to about, I don't know, just over a half a cup in just yogurt and hope for the best. The party's here. Sarah showed up. I'm going to just eyeball it. Because this is the last of my yogurt. I ate all my cottage cheese. We're just going to go with it. I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yes, Meredith, I want to make those. The jiggly pancakes. No, I ate all my cottage cheese, Tracy. I ate it all. I need to go get some. All right. What's half of one and a quarter? That's too complicated. I don't know. What is half of one and a quarter? I don't know what half of one and a quarter is. It's half of this thing. And then half of this thing. That's how I do it. That worked. And it dirtied another dish. So big deal. To some super sweet in there. I'm not measuring it. Just, just do your best. It's fine. Vanilla and banana. All right. Pecan extract would be good in there. Maple extract would be good in there. But we need banana. Do I have any? Yes, I do. Look at that. Banana extract. Two thirds isn't. Two thirds and two thirds would be one and one third. Not one and a quarter. That's why I can't do it. 57.34. Thank you, Bonnie. That clarifies it all. Thank you. Right? Bo math makes my brain. I don't know how much. How much did that call for? It, whatever. It's got some banana extract in there. And then some bacon powder. 
baking powder. Now that's how we say it in Maine. Can you give me the baking powder? I need some baking powder for my pancakes. I like the old baking powder. How much? Two and a half teaspoons. So I'm doing half, I don't know. I just go, just measure, just pour some in there. It'll be fine. That's right, Amy. I don't care about numbers. Just like, I just don't, I don't care. I get enough numbers doing algebra with a ninth grader. Oh, there was supposed to be oatmeal in here. Did I put, oh, I put it in there. Never mind. I was supposed to grind it first. Oh, well, I'll blend it all up in here. Add all your ingredients except the cooking spray. I'm glad they clarified because I would have put cooking spray right in that container. Who would, who would do that? Do they have people actually going, putting cooking spray into the mix? Oh. Oh, ah. My hair caught in my pan. Almost pulled my bun out. I guess it's better than my bun pulling the pan out. All right, now I messed up my messy bun and now it's too messy. I really don't think that I have. Which surprises me because I do like banana flavored things. I don't like bananas a lot. I'll eat a banana. I just would rather not. It, it's going to be my last choice. That and an orange. Good point, Sarah. Get my bun a little bigger. This is in... Also, Shirley, just grab it back out. This is in Trim Healthy Table on page 339, Sarah. And this is a half a batch, so it's two servings. Turn on your griddle. Once it's hot, spray it. Spoon it onto the griddle and cook it. And that's that. That's the whole recipe. Clean your pan thingy off before you turn it off. Um, what I'd really like to have with these is some pecans. Pecans! But I can't. Well, I could. Why did I get out the almond milk? Was there supposed to be almond milk in there? No. So why did I get out the almond milk? Somebody give me a good suggestion for dinner. I need a good suggestion for a dinner that the whole family will love. We had hamburger last night. I had mine in um, Wonder Wraps. I had my cabbage soup for lunch yesterday, and I'm going to eat the last batch today, and it makes me seriously sadness. Super, super sad that my... Stuff is gone. Pecans. Pecans. Pecans, not pecans. My family wouldn't eat the lazy lasagna, Tracy. And I don't have any cottage cheese. I feel like there's cottage cheese. Ooh, sweet lime taco joes. That sounds good. Ooh, swai. Family wouldn't eat that. So, so far, the only thing is maybe creamy chicken that my family would eat. Other than that, I see nothing. But I can take food and tweak it for me. I'll What's the creamy chicken, Shirley? I, I'm not familiar with that. I'm not familiar with that one. We had beef last night because my husband said to me, you realize we've had chicken the last three nights in a row. Sorry, dude, it was on sale. Yep, they're just gonna go ahead and spread out, cook together. Ooh, lentils, I love lentils. 
Leah. I love them. I like the queso chicken bake, fried rice. Yeah, I think it's probably going to be Chick-fil-A, Faith. <laughs> I love everything you guys have mentioned. Well, creamy chicken, I don't, I've never had. I got to go look that up. I love the Slim Sloppy Joes. My family hates Sloppy Joes now. That sounds good. Cauliflower tots. These are all making my stomach growl. Yeah, that don't work that way in this house, Bonnie Clap. Well, this got well and cleaned in the dishwasher. That did, the dishwasher did a great job. Huh. It's got some leftover baked potato hash on it from last night. I made baked potato hash for the family. It's just a little potato. Don't hurt nobody. Ooh, sour cream pork chops. Now, I would eat that, Tracy. That is something I think I'm going to cook live one of these mornings because that sounds wonderful. Sour cream pork chops is a good option because I have a bunch of pork in my freezer. That's actually a really good option. And I have sour cream. Amy, you might be the winner with that one. I have a bunch of pork in my freezer and I have a bunch of sour cream in the fridge. And I have mushrooms. Winner, winner, sour cream pork chop dinner. Page 165. Oh, THC. I thought you said THT. All right. I'll look it up when we're done here because I've never had that recipe. And it sounds, the words creamy in the name of a recipe sounds good. I like some creamy. I hope these hold together with the yogurt instead of the cottage cheese. I feel like I'm going to need to put a cover on them because they're, not cooking very quickly. They do look yummy, don't they, Susan? They do look yummy if 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 I'm able to flip them so they're not like they're cooking. I think I'm gonna have to put a cover on them to get them to cook through a little bit so I can flip them because right now they're not flippable even though they look brown on the bottom they are not gonna flip this will help it cook through a little could be i don't know i did put a lid on it bonnie creamy cream oh i love creamy creamless chicken amy if you have the thm membership site if you have the THM membership subscription, there is a pizza version of that that is fantastic. Of the creamless creamy chicken, a pizza version. It is redonkulously good. Bonnie! I gotta sneeze. Pardon me. These pancakes are huge. All right, let's see. They look like they're flippable. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, right on top of the other one, KJ. Way to go. She's all over it. Yeah, these are, oh man. I'll have to flip them back over because now they got some batter on that side. They look all right. I'm so bad at pancake flipping. It's just not my main talent. Can we tell? <laughs> right, Sarah? Yeah, it's creamless, creamy. It's, cr it's called... They're not stuck. Oh, it's not stuck, Tracy. These pans are fantastic. I'm absolutely obsessed with these pans. They are hands down the best pans I own. Last night I was cooking something and I grabbed, I don't know what it was that I did, but I had a knife in my hand and for some reason my hand jerked and I, it was a butter knife. I jabbed, I don't know, my brain farted. I jabbed that knife into my pan 
hard. Like, I was like, well, that's cute. I bet I just destroyed the pan. Didn't even touch it. Not a mark. I don't know why. I don't know what happened, but my hand just did this, like, jerk. Imagine that. KJ in the kitchen. Oh my goodness. These smell good. They flattened out big time though. The fluffy disappeared. Look at these. They turned into crepes. What the heck? These were super fluffy when I flipped them. Now look at them. Come on. These are not fluffy. Look, what on earth? Do you see that? They... Well, now I just flattened them, but they... I did, Tracy. They... What's going on? Why? Why did they unfluffify? They unfluffed. Look at it. They turned into skin flap bananas. What's it with skin flap stuff in me? They're cooked. Kind of. Okay, well, those look completely unappetizing. I keep hearing a weird sound. What is that? Anybody else hear that? Is it just me? Okay, between the jerking in my hand and the weird sounds, I keep hearing like twinkle bells, like a baby was just born at the hospital. You know what I mean? That little jingle bell sound. I think the heat's too high. sure that I would I would call these pancakes as much as I would call them <laughs> she just said an angel just got its wings oh my gosh maybe maybe the lid collapsed them I don't know I would not call these fluffy pancakes, y'all. That is not the definition of fluffy. Maybe it's the cottage cheese. Maybe it's the yogurt, Sarah. It could be. Maybe it's that. i probably my own dang fault. That's all right. They'll be fine. I'll eat them anyway, but still. Not fluffy. Hi, Bassie. You want a piece of banana pancake? Lord have mercy. No, I never said I did, Tracy. Really? You like that, Meredith? Bonnie, every time a flat pancake is born, a fairy comes into existence. Haven't you seen Peter Frying Pan? <laughs> oh, Leah, that's a good idea because this would be good. Maybe these would be good with Coach Canada's Real Dill peanut butter in the middle. Let's sit these ones aside and maybe I'll have them for my afternoon snacky snack with some Coach Canada's peanut butter in the middle. And we'll see if this batch comes out any better. We'll see. It could be the yogurt instead of the cottage cheese. It could be the fact that I didn't follow the recipe that's causing the error. There is a possibility that I should have followed the recipe. Whatever.
You're right, Leah. I agree. Peanut butter makes everything better. Whole bunch of Coach Canada in there. Not actually Coach Canada, just her peanut butter. Here. I'll only have two left for snack time now because the dog just ate a whole pancake. He's chip. Calm down. There's nothing in my hand. Trim healthy puppy though, aren't you? Aren't you? Yeah. See, they're getting super fluffy. They're fluffifying. And then they seem to unfluffify. When I flipped them, they unfluffified. Maybe I need a thinner spatula. Maybe my spatula's too fat. Well, it really isn't. Kayla's came out fluffy. Did you use cottage cheese, Kayla, in yours? See, like, every time I do that, they stick bad. They're not cooked enough. I just not, got a notification that something's on its way. Something I ordered on Instagram. I don't even remember ordering that. What? What did I order? Okay. Apparently I ordered a purple bra. I do not remember that. They do have floof powder. They have a lot of floof powder in them, Nikki. They are floofy. See if I can flip them this time. See, they're not cooking enough, but they're they're like underneath. They're totally cooked. If I don't flip it, they're going to get burnt. But yet they're not good enough to flip. What am I doing wrong? Sometimes I think I wasn't cut out for this job. I know, I'm probably, I'm not flipping them too early because they're getting brown, like dark brown on parts. But yeah, okay, now they're fluffifying. But look, maybe Tracy, although I did half the recipe and I divided the batter into twos. I don't know. I dreamed last night, dreamt, dream, maybe, maybe my pan's too hot. I got it, so I'm medium, let me lower it a little bit more. I dreamt last night that I went to a gym and I did body pump. You ever done body pump to all the music? You do the, you ever done that? You ever done body pump? I think it was a sign from God that I need to go find a gym that does body pump and pump it up. I think, there they go, they're flat, they're going flat. What is your problem right now, pancakes? Excuse me, Pearl and Serene, how dare you write a recipe that I can't tweak to my own liking and still have them come out successfully? How dare you? I used to do it years ago. My caption said potty pump. Body pump. I used to do body pump years ago, and I loved it. So I think I'm going to go find me a gym that does some body pump at like 5 a.m. so I can pump the body early. There, it's, it's, it's going flat. Well, they have ground oats. According to the recipe, they're supposed to be fluffy. That one, that's a... Oh, wow. Well. They're, they're staying mush in the middle. They're like staying mucky in the middle. Okay, well, maybe there's a reason I never made... See, look, they're like mush in the middle. Even though they're cooked on the outside, look. Not my favorite recipe. Not my favorite recipe that I... Yes, I did, Kayla. I did. Yeah, I'm just going to keep flipping them, trying to cook the middle. Oh, well. All right. I think they're as cooked as they're going to get.
<laughs> wow. KJ knocked it out of the park this morning. I broke the recipe. That's what I did. It's because I didn't pay attention. All right, I need some added protein because all that's all that I got in there is about half a cup of egg whites, which ain't gonna cut it for KJ. These are super low. These are like a gram of fat in three. So here's my added fat. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of it. Maybe Sarah, was I supposed to let it sit for a while, the batter? Maybe. I was supposed to let the batter sit for five minutes. I didn't use cottage cheese. I didn't let it sit for five minutes and I didn't grind my oats. It could be the reason for the failure, but I'm not entirely sure. Go on Master Chef is what you should do. I should make these for Master Chef. Gordon Ramsay would be super impressed. Where did you get this recipe, KJ? Did you come up with it on your own, you donkey? Whatever. Sometimes, Meredith, winging it brings wonderful surprises. No, I didn't, Susan. <laughs> My own fault. Right. Yep, I'm not blaming the sisters. Don't get me wrong. It's my own fault. It's my own fault. Oh, well. Oh, I forgot my maple syrup. Hold on. Watch out, beast. Watch out, beastie. Oh, well. It's not the end of the world. I'm sure they'll still taste wonderful-ish. They'll be fine. They're just not fluffy. Ooh, those are hot. They don't taste like pancakes. They're just going to taste like mushy banana oatmeal semi-fried. There we go. Yay. Right, Meredith? No, there is no connection between the changes that I made and the fact that they failed. None at all, clearly. All right, my friends, I'm going to go eat breakfast, and then you know what I got to do? I have some work to do. I have to do some filming today for y'all. There you go. Breakfast looks pretty good, even though it's ugly. I bet they're fine. They're probably fine with maple syrup. Not every meal has to be the most amazing thing I've ever tasted in my life. I can deal. They're not bad. They taste like mushy banana oatmeal with maple syrup and a little bit of crispiness on the outside. <laughs> eh, not the best thing I've ever eaten, but it's, it's, it's edible and I'll enjoy it anyway. All right. I hope you had fun with me this morning and enjoyed making failed banana skin flap pancakes. That's right, Shirley, sometimes it's just fuel. Not all food needs to be gourmet. Right, Bessie? You'd eat, you know, I'm not going to say what he'd eat because it's really disgusting and probably shouldn't be on camera, but he could care less. All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you for joining me this morning. If you haven't signed up for Holy Healthy Spring, time is running out. You need to register by Saturday if you would like to join. If you would like a promo code, send me a message and I will get you a promo code to save you some dollar bills. All right, guys, I love you so much. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. They said something about holding it down while it blends, so maybe I should have done that. You're going to come